Megan, and I'm a registered dietitian here to talk to you today about nutrition for bone health and preventing osteoporosis. Our bones are active tissues in a state of constant turnover. If you were to see a cross-section of your bone, it would look like a honeycomb. If you take good care of your bones, the structure is strong and less likely to break. However, if you neglect nutrition and exercise to support your bones, the structure is weak and more likely to break. Bone turnover is the process of breaking down bone followed by bone replacement and it's happening all the time. This is necessary to maintain homeostasis of minerals, including calcium. When you're young, much more bone is deposited or built than is broken down. This is why it is important to take care of your bones in adolescence and as teenagers. Sometime in your 20s, you reach what is called peak bone mass. This is the strongest your bones get during your lifetime. After this, the goal is to keep your bone mass constant as you likely will not be able to build it much higher. When your bone is broken down quicker than you can rebuild it, your bones become weak and brittle. This is called osteoporosis and puts you at higher risk for fracture. Nutrition is an important factor in reaching your peak bone mass as well as preventing osteoporosis after your peak bone mass is reached. The most important nutrient in bone health is calcium. Calcium is the major component of bone and it is needed for other cell functions. Consuming adequate calcium in your diet ensures strong bones. If you don't get enough calcium through your diet, your body will pull the calcium from your bones for other cell functioning, weakening them. The recommendation of calcium for anyone above the age of four is 1,000 to 1,300 milligrams per day. The food group with the highest concentration of calcium is dairy. So things like yogurt, cottage cheese, milk, and cheese. Calcium is also found in fortified foods, dark leafy greens, and some fish. Eating three servings of calcium-rich foods per day can aid in reaching your needs. If you have a lactose intolerant or, or avoid dairy, you may want to take a calcium supplement. Another important nutrient for bone health is vitamin D. Vitamin D is necessary for calcium absorption and utilization. Vitamin D can be consumed through the diet, but few foods, foods naturally contain vitamin D. As humans, we get most of our vitamin D from the sun as it is synthesized through our skin. However, in the colder months, many people become vitamin D deficient and may need a supplement during this time. When choosing a calcium supplement, look for one that contains vitamin D3 or purchase a vitamin D supplement as well. Individuals with darker skin may have a harder time synthesizing vitamin D from the sun and may need a supplement year-round. Protein is an important nutrient in bone-building hormones as well as bone structure. Consuming adequate protein for your size and activity level will help protect your bones. In addition to consuming adequate protein, it is important to consume adequate calories each day to stay in energy balance. Low energy availability or not eating enough calories to support your basic needs as well as activity affects the hormones that regulate bone turnover, which leads to a higher level of bone breakdown and not enough building to replace it. Other than diet, risk factors for osteoporosis include inactivity and amenorrhea. In addition to bones being strengthened with nutrients mentioned, activity is also important for bone health. Check out the video on physical activity for bone health for more information on this. The other risk factors for osteoporosis in females is amenorrhea. Amenorrhea is when a female who is previously menstruating regularly does not get her period for three or more months. This happens for a number of reasons and affects the hormones that regulate bone. If you are a female and are experiencing amenorrhea, talk to your doctor. We hope you enjoyed this video. Follow us on YouTube and Facebook for more like it. Please also feel free to submit questions or other nutrition topics you would like to see to contact us at orthopedicone.com.